in the deep end with Coach Murad alongside. And hey, before we move forward, because I know coaches like to move forward, we got to take one last look back at last weekend, the opener at Terralena. What do you take away most from that meet? I thought it was a great season opener. We had close to 50% best times, so almost every other swim was faster than it was a week before at time trials, which is hard to do. Mm -hmm. That tells me the kids are working hard and they're learning, they're staying focused. Um, I was really impressed by was the quality of some of our kids' like streamlines, the things that we've been preaching, but you never know if it will happen until you're in the meet. I have a feeling this is gonna be a good year for us. We're uh, you know, we're primed, ready to go, the kids are serious, and I don't think they're gonna be intimidated by any team this year. Well, we've got the home opener. Everybody's gonna be excited about this one here at TAM, hosting Sleepy Hollow. Yes. Early barometer test for this team? Well, when you're swimming the best, you definitely find out how good you actually are. Mm -hmm. And they're the best Maroon Swim League has to offer. Um, they have been for, God, at least since, since the mid-90s, maybe longer. That's as long as I can remember back. Um, so if we can make a strong showing against them, I think that you know, that will be a very positive thing for us because it will show whether our kids are able you know, to up the intensity when they're facing uh, more elite competition. I believe they will be. You know, from what I know about these kids is you know, the stronger the challenge, the better the response. They really step up to challenges. Uh, you know, they're a fearless group of, of kids here. Um, so I'm hoping for a surprising weekend this weekend. I, not, not necessarily in terms of who wins or loses, but I, I just want to see our kids race and take every race as, you know, an opportunity to improve. Well, you know they're certainly going to respond to that. And over the balance of the year, and I know it'll be only the second meet of the season, is the idea to maybe get these guys peaking, peaking, peaking toward champs at the end? In a sense, mm -hmm. they should be improving, improving, improving. Hopefully it'll show up on their times week to week, but sometimes, uh, you know, when a kid makes technical improvements, there's a delay effect in terms of when it shows up in the races, mm -hmm. you know, when the body acclimates to new, new motions, you know, their nervous system adapts, the muscles adapt. Um, so what I would like to see is improving, 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 and then to have the big meat experience at champs. You know, the experience that elite swimmers have, uh, you know, in NC2A's USA Swimming, where they're really training for a few meets each year. And the meets leading up are rehearsals. Now, good rehearsals will contribute to a good performance. So it doesn't diminish the importance of the meets, but the meets are each a learning opportunity, the dual meets, you know, to find new ways to improve, to find technical aspects to build on, um, and to build momentum into championships. So in a sense, yes, we, you know, we would like to see each meet be a new peak in terms of quality, but ultimately our eyes are on championships and how we do that. All right, well, that's just a few moments in the deep end with Coach Murad. Sleepy Hollow is coming. Check this website for more moving forward right here on strawberryseals.com.